pounding, adrenaline rushing, eye watering, breathtaking speed. There is a place where everyone is free to test their metal, to master their machines, where skills are learned and instincts are honed. A place where drivers perfect their craft on every type of train over every terrain. So join us. We're ready when you are. We are many. We are rail fans. Train Simulator 2015. <coughs> Master your machines. Narrated by Sean Bean. Hello. Yo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. No. I've only got until like the fifth. Yeah. Well, uh, and it's pretty much maxed out anyway, so, yeah. Well, I don't know, probably not. Alright. Uh, um, alright. Uh, uh, bye bye. See if I have any tweets. Right. Okay, so here we are in Train Sim 2015. We're getting a measly 51 frames per second. Oh, see, I have one viewer. Good morning. I'm going to be playing. Oh, sorry, it's afternoon, isn't it? I'm going to be playing the favourite. <laughs> I 
No, not gonna be playing Game of Gnomes. Under the Fabulous High Speed, what we got here? Oh no, I failed at that one. Far Horizons, because we like the javelin. A full run from St Pancras International. I can't even. I. I can't even see what that says because the camera, the webcam preview is hiding it. Right. About to turn off the webcam, save some bandwidth. May even increase the frame rate. No, yeah, it's a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to start. It does sometimes take a little while to load, but... Good morning driver, today you will be completing a full run from London St Pancras to Faversham, calling each station. Before departing you will need to pick up passengers here at St Pancras. Ok, so, load. Then, first things first, we just select, uh, set the reverse of two forwards, there we go, then we power. Okay, yeah, I was expecting that because we've got a. Okay, there we go, we have power. Okay, this is the Hitachi Class 395 Javelin. Oh, yeah. Okay, to proceed. Okay. Oh yes. Okay. Our hands graph is up and. We are underway. Oh, that's new. Being careful to stay under 25 miles an hour. <laughs> 25.9 to be precise. Because it's still under 26. Oh, we're losing speed here. No. We're about to go down the hill. So I need to watch my brakes. It's 
So then we're now picking up speed as we're going down the hill. Quite rapidly. Knock it up to 40, here we go. absolutely love this route. I live on this route. You know, I see the javelins every day. Because I work on the railway. Talking to myself. Here we go. Right, okay, we we'll change to 60. <gasps> there we go, 225. Should get rid of this. So minimise it at least. There we go. Full speed ahead, Scotty. Look out. What's it doing now? It's a driver reminder or the automatic warning because I haven't touched any controls for so long. It does that. I don't need to watch my speed because that's about to come down 200 and it's going to be lower so I need to start braking because the next signal could potentially be 170 maybe 160 see 170 there we go and the fact it's still flashing means the next signal will show that, it's, that the speed limit is in fact lower still. So it updates. So if that were to go solid on the right hand side. So where it says 170 now, if it, if it were to utilise um, the three squares to the... There we go. Yeah, see. I'm now only actually doing 140. But the next one could actually be 140, maybe 120. Wait for this, these blue and yellow flags. That's when the uh, in cab signaling updates. Looks like there's one coming up now. Here we go. What's the next? So we've got to get down to 100. Okay. We're approaching Stratford International Station, platform 3. And as we approach, you'll see the Westfield Shopping Centre on the right hand side. If the game is there. Well, I suppose you would do if um, if the game were that decent. If, it, if the scenario was updated. If the map was updated. <gasps> um, just coming into the station now and I'm still doing like... <gasps> got to get down to 80. Okay, I'm going to switch to an outside view, or maybe... So I need to look for the... I need to look for the six car stop marker on the right hand side on the platform there. I expect it's somewhere around here because <gasps> there's the end of the platform there it is six car stop 
<gasps> so well short. Well far. <gasps> oh, it's not too sad actually. Oh. Stop too far. Apes. See where the back of the train is. Oh, right up there. So take note of this for all those with uh, OC, all those with OCD. Um, if you want, uh, if you want, if you're one of the types who positions themselves on the before they get on the train in the place where they need to get off, right by, right by the stairs, you need to be right on the end carriage, right on the uh, the London end, as we call it. So, oh, it's not stairs anyway. It's escalator. <laughs> The stairs are on the right hand side here, but this platform isn't actually used anymore. Mm. Oh. Here we go. I only just caught, I just caught that driver reminder appliance. The DRAs. <laughs> Wow, 17 frames per second. Okay, we've got to 100 and that's solid, so that is the limit. When it's flashing, that means it'll be, it, that means the, the next actual limit is lower. So that's showing um, that we can go up to the, the full line speed. So there's no temporary limits in place. If it starts flashing then we'll have to knock it back down. And that marker are all good. <laughs> See I was speaking to this, I was speaking to uh, driver managers at Gillingham Station before now and they've said um, there is uh, uh, the second row on this speed indicator down here um, is actually not used at all in games, it's not, not been implemented but it's for what they call neutral zone Ooh. just have to hit Q for that for the drive reminder Go ahead and head for Ebsfleet. And just over 14 and a half miles. And still full speed ahead. We're at 190 kilometers per hour now, which is roughly 122 miles per hour. We're still full speed ahead. There we go, 215 kilometers an hour is 134 miles per hour. Oopsie, 224 kilometers per hour. See arrow here, that means we're actually, that shows you when we start decreasing speed. It shows you if we're actually speeding up or slowing down. Very handy, especially when you're not actually in the game so you can't feel it. So you're not actually in the cab. Excuse me, I'm about to say <laughs> Oops. <sighs> I 
so I'm just using this uphill slope to slow me down a bit. Got no throttle on at the moment. It's very soon going to be. It's going to start slowing me down. We've only got about 10 miles to Ebbsfleet International Station. Start speeding up again now, but I think I don't want to start running late, do we? Nah. <laughs> We're cutting it fine now, aren't I? Due to arrive 11:42, as per timetable. Ex estimated time of arrival at the moment is 11:41, 52 seconds. We're only about eight and a half miles away now. Just hit that emergency reset switch, so for the driver reminder. Cut to it a bit early, I suppose. So 221 kilometers per hour, it's 138 miles an hour. Okay, throttle off with the power handle. Okay, I'm just seven miles away now. This is theoretically up, going to be uploading to YouTube at the same time. <laughs> so if you missed the show, you can, well, yeah, if you're interested in gameplay, you'll be able to watch it again later. Yeah, if you if you've, uh, yeah, if you missed the live show. Quarter miles away now. You keep the speed up still. We have picked up a few more seconds. We've picked up about six seconds. And for anybody who's actually been on this in real life. Um, you'll know not to correct me when I say at this kind of speeds you do tend to get air sick the suspension on this train is very smooth soft so yeah and the way the bridge goes round and okay so speed limit's coming down now the next signal will show less than 200 kilometers an hour. We'll continue flashing it, bring me right down until it shows zero, at which point we'll um, switch to domestic signaling systems. Okay, 170. But notice it's showing me that there, that the signal is only really less than 170, but the limit in miles per hour on here is still showing 140 miles an hour, which is the full speed, which is the full 225, 225 kilometers an hour. And then you see, when we get to here, the signaling will show 60 miles an hour on the track. So at this point, we can then At this point we can then 
change over to this point we can then change over to the domestic system and yeah, we'll bring the pantograph down and a hundred losing too much speed we'll never get out of the tunnel Ooh. a bit too fast now uh, no maybe not So bring the speed down, limit down to 80 now, we're actually doing 38. And this is kilometers per hour, that's kilometers per hour. That's miles per hour on the track display. If you look on the track further up here, you should see the third rail up here somewhere up here and you'll see this 80 will disappear at some point which shows zero don't have a third rail yet but it will appear any time now there it is just there that's our third rail for the domestic system so once we put it into the station we're still doing 35 kilometers an hour sorry 30 32 okay Oh. Okay. We show the front end of the train. Okay, now what we do is we have to bring the pantograph down and we'll see okay right okay now that shows yeah, no. now we're on the domestic system We actually arrived 22 seconds late, but I don't think we'll be penalised too much for that. Oh, what a day. Typical Kentish day. Filled with rain. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, Drew Graves End, eleven forty seven. Okay, you're going to switch DC power, which I've already done. Now we're going to stop to the reverse in a neutral position for it to set the DC power mode. Press P, set shoes down. Once aligned, illuminates. Press P once again. 
Okay, so we should theoretically move. Oh, wait, get off the track, you. I'm about to run you over. Why then? Uh, run you over. Okay, so the limit is now 60 mile an hour. As you'll see. Yeah, let's have a look around here. Search your reset button. Manual sander, which you don't really need. Emergency brake. Um, what have we got here? Not clickable. Need to watch my speed. I'm going to go up round to the right here. Join onto the domestic track. Okay. Other controls that we've got. Not much there. Ooh. Going way, a bit way too fast there. We've got lights here, a wipers even. Okay, so yeah, so I'm, I'm in neutral at the moment. Okay, so directional lever, that's your limits. So DC, yeah, so DC for the third rail, and CTRL is for whatever. pan up shoes down. Pantograph down shoes up. So you hit that usually. Ooh. There we go. This is for the lights, headlights, which are actually off at the moment. I need to turn them on really. There we go. Headlights. Cab light, which we don't really need on at the moment. I'm not watching anything that's going on in front of me. Yeah, so I was just resetting the speed there. Oh, we're doing 46 and a 70. We're going to have other trains up on the back side of it. Oh, no, a bit too late to speed up really now. So we're about to hit 30 mile an hour limit. So we really need to come right off. We need to really hit the brakes here. So far as we're not be going too far as we hit this 30 limit. Five, four, three. I think might just make this. Yeah, there we go. So 30 mile an hour as you pull in. No, I do need the full. About this. No. Nah, I'm not ready. So speed's still coming down. And I'm going to bring it right down. So when we get to the end there. So we're looking for this six car stop which we're about to just fly past. Maybe not. Okay, we stopped a little bit short. But that's fine. We're all on the platform. Watch out the driver's cab window, I suppose. There, yeah, we actually arrived 11 seconds early, though. So, yeah, go watch the back end of the train. Okay, so watch our limit back in the cab right because otherwise you'll be like hey my train's running off without me and no we're not going into that wall that's going to turn there we go nicely does it oh he's off the throttle there we go let's break a little bit there because I thought it was going up okay so we're out of this 30 so we're out of the 20 mile an hour limit. Okay. 
Now we can go up to 70. Oh, no. Up to 30. And as soon as that 70 mile an hour. As soon as we. As soon as that 70 mile an hour post disappears, then we can hit 70. There we go. Well, not for long, because then we'll reach the 50 mile an hour limit. Really need to. Whoop. Too busy playing with that. Oh, I'm losing loads. <sighs> There's loads of points there. 49. Once we reach, once that 70 limit disappears there, there we go, and then we can knock it back up to 70 now, and this is still in, well this is in miles per hour now, so when you bring the pack graphs down and re-engage the shoes, um, that's when it switches to, uh, to the DC voltage, and it switches from kilometres an hour to miles per hour. Yep. These are off. Oh, going too fast. Ooh. Just got carried away there. Okay. Oh, the W means whistle, but on proper trains, on real trains, you don't have a whistle, you have a horn. Okay. Just use one notch of power. Don't want to get too fast. Um, although we are, although we are pushing time a bit, we're running a little bit late. Um, nearly a minute late. It's coming down now. Fifty-eight. Okay, so right now, so we've left Gravesend. We're now heading towards Who Junction, the switching yard. And then we'll be going through Highham Station. The high speed doesn't stop at Highham. <laughs> Whistle. There we go. So this is Who Junction. Yeah, so this is Who Junction. We're going to do all the switching, shunting. I'm waiting for the decimal to get up to. Uh, don't really want to push it too much for top, for top speed. Okay. We're now running 38 seconds late by estimate. Oh. Speed's dropped down now. Push the speed up to 70.9, which is the the limit you can go up to. So if you go over 70.9, then it'll say you're speeding, and you start losing points. And then there's Highland Station. Okay. Green signals. Oh, that means we've we've got. An, uh, that means the signal coming up is not clear. Okay, this warning us warning us of an upcoming 
lower speed limit which I know about anyway because this, this part is high on the tunnel and as we come out of Strood Tunnel which is the other half there is a clearing in between which we're approaching now as you come out of Strood Tunnel there is a 15 mile an hour speed limit so we do need to start slowing down Okay. Okay, so I'm using rather a lot of braking at the moment. So we're adjusting the braking so we don't slow down too quickly. So otherwise we lose a lot of time. Oh, now running 43 seconds late and getting later by the minute or by the second even so bring it up a bit bring the speed up a bit not too much though just bring it right down <laughs> let's say we do have a 15 mile an hour speed limit coming up This video is going to take forever to load to upload to YouTube. I've got no idea, even if I can be heard right now. I just can't remember where the microphone is built into this laptop. So if we look to the right and see these monitors, they should actually be saying no image expected. Would you like anything from the shop? Eh? Would you like anything from the shop? No. Sure? Mm-hmm. Right, so do that. Do that. Oh, it took a little bit. Took, uh, didn't slow down as quickly as I should have done. There we go. So now then, 15.4 miles per hour. Very slow. And that looks like, let's see. Looks like that's a paddock with Tunbridge train just pulling out there. Out of platform three. Heading towards Maidstone. Paddock wood and Tunbridge. Or is it? Is that your room? No. Looked like it was. Maybe it's just pulled in in front of me. Oh no, it's not moving. Street station is being uh, is under development right now as well. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Stop too far forward. Cool, we did actually make it to Strood on time as well. And the next, so this is the Medway Valley line that myself and others go on about with Dovetail Games. Asking, please, please make the Medway Valley line as a as an add-on to the St Pancras Fabrician route. We'd also like to see the Victoria to Dover and Ramsgate line as well. Okay, here we go. Onwards and upwards. 
Now heading towards Rochester, which is not far from here. Uh, so, still, still being held back by a 15 mile an hour speed limit. As we get to the top of the hill here, there's the back end here. So the trouble with, trouble with this is we're going uphill so we're going to lose speed very very quickly. So when we, I'm using the first notch of power and we're still losing speed. We've got 20 mile an hour limit now. Coming up the hill, up the hill on the street of Rochester Bridge even. Now up the hill, and so we're not losing speed so quickly now. There we go. Okay, that almost makes the River Medway look nice, doesn't it? it? Looks swimmable. I wouldn't, not in real life. Okay, so we now have a 30 mile an hour speed limit. We've only got about two thirds of a mile to Rochester Station. Oh, we are speeding slightly. So we are not to be half that for a minute, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're coming into my neck of the woods now. So in real life that chair would be bouncing about everywhere, especially if there's nobody sitting on it. No suspension like the bus drivers do. Okay, we're just coming into Rochester Station now. <laughs> yeah. And the platform on the far left there is where the uh, is where the train used to come in. Used to that's where the train starts from. Thames Link service to Blackfriars. I'm going a little bit too fast, isn't I? Need to start slowing down. So otherwise, we overrun the edge. Overrun the platform, which we don't want to do. I would say it was almost perfect. This is Rochester. See, so you got Fort Pitt Grammar School up there. This is school, Fort Pitt Grammar School, and um, the Cityway Mid Kent College as well, which is no longer there, as far as I know. Well, maybe actually. We mainly Fort Pitt. It's back into the cab now. So we've actually gone past the eight car stop. Well, for the other platform anyway. Time runs bonus plus 90. How do we actually do the. Oh, yeah. So we've got 30 mile an hour in the bit here. Okay, we're now doing 30 miles an hour exact. Gonna knock it up to 30.9 and then stop there, isn't it? So I'm very I can be very watchful with that. Uh, three forty miles. We're actually running 
49 seconds early right now. Just coming into Chatham Station. Keep your arms and legs folded and keep your head inside the ride at all times. So we've got the four st four car stop should be next to the stairs there, yes. And this is the six car stop on the there we go. Oh no, that's an eight car stop. That'll do us. There is actually a cafe on this platform. Yeah, see over here? There's actually a pumpkin cafe somewhere around there. I don't know why it spins it right around that way. I'm going to go to number two. Okay, so we've just got to wait until ooh, just got to wait until the actual departure time. Departure twelve oh five, and we'll be arriving on Gillingham platform three. Hey, my hometown. Yeah. Oh, that, that's not really realistic timing, is it? it actually takes. That just takes. Oh. Uh, you can't hear the DRA from outside the cab. See, in real life, there's not actually a, there's not actually a push button. In real life, there's actually a thing on the floor. There's actually a, um, a foot pedal on the floor, you have to hold your foot on it and then when the, um, when the alarms go off then you take your foot off and then put it back on again. This is a bit of time here, aren't we? Right. Nope. Everything's been actually be 18 seconds early at this rate. There it goes, Victoria train. South Eastern class 375. Okay, so we're actually running 24 seconds early right now, according to the ETA. <laughs> Any blues watching this who enjoys Train Simulator, as I do. You can watch me, subscribe to me on Twitch, your username TBBTNut, uh, so that's Twitch for for the person that just tuned in, it's 
TBBT nut on Twitch. And I'm also uploading to YouTube as well. Okay, so I'm just pulling it into Gillingham Station. I'm doing the full run from St Pancras International to Faversham. My favourite route. Because this right here is the town that I lived in. That I lived in. I've gone way past the six car marker. Still doing 11 miles an hour. Oh no, it's a 10 car marker. And that'll do. Means it'll take longer to unload and load because of the, the distance that passengers have to walk. Well, there is a there is a side entrance right there actually. But yeah, they have a bit of a walk up to the stairs at the end there. So we have a look. Switch to the free camera. So this lift here is the one that always goes wrong. So it says, I've uh, got no idea what it says, laundromat, no, we've got no laundromat. Got no laundromat in there. Yeah, yeah, railway street, there's no such thing as laundromat in railway street. This is the National Rail, uh, Network Rail Depot. Yeah, it's where all the uh, engineers are based. Just uh, saying it for you to know. Um, level, uh, level crossing just come up here. Gillingham Road, Ingram Road. That's the train depot. Train wash coming up here. And I'm doing 50, 54 mile an hour, 55. Uh, you may have seen um, benefits benefits can't work won't work so this here all this here this is the estate where the Gillingham couple live in oh no that's Woodlands Road oh, speeding still speeding there we go not speeding <gasps> 91 an hour now how was I speeding so the limit the limit went up whilst I was still slowing down. It's not fair, is it? Oh, I'm going to be very early arriving at Raynham as well. Oh, we just went past the estate where the Twiddle McDonald's is. As well. We're doing 72 mile an hour now. We'll need to start slowing down if we actually intend on stopping at Raynham. This is coming up very quickly. So the moral of this story is just because the speed limit says 90 doesn't mean we have to be doing 90. That's a maximum limit. It's a limit, not a target. Please to remember that. Okay, I'm going to stop breaking now. I aim generally to be doing between 20 and 30 as I come into the platform. No faster. Uh, I am aiming even more to be doing between 20 and 25, more to the point. There's a uh, Yeah, so we're doing, now doing close to 40. Getting there slowly. Now slowing down a little bit too early though. We've got about just under 40 seconds to play with. Uh, Baron Grave Lane.
but and as you see here now we're approaching Raynham on platform 2 we're at platform 1 on the right hand side but in actual fact they've taken away half of this car park now um, to put in a platform 0 it's a work in progress um, the work was commissioned um, with the idea of having the the Charing Cross Metro service terminate at Raynham. Oh, that's the eight car stop. Um, yeah, the idea was so that the uh, the Charing uh, was to start the Charing Cross service from Raynham instead of Gillingham, but because of the location of the depot, when they um, but the trains are all different lengths during the day from Gillingham they have to do detachments and reattachments juggling around 465s and 466s um, to uh, with all different combinations to make either 8 car, 10 car or 12 car trains throughout the day depending on demand it just wouldn't be practical so they changed their mind and they said no we're not going to not going to use it for this purpose um, but it's already being built and actually now they don't know what they're going to do with it ok so we're ready to depart, to depart. we have the the host house <coughs> sorry the host house on the left hand side so the these are showing as houses but it's actually a, a community hall there on the left hand side in real life and there's the res residential care home on the right hand side crossing over station road over station road car park followed by Raynham recreation ground missing missing one key feature or well, two key features actually the pavilion and the child play area So I have actually just moved to Raynham as well. Uh, Scott Avenue and Wakeley, and uh, so we're running parallel with Wakeley Road. Wakeley, so we've got Wakeley Road on the left, so the rear of Wakeley Road on the left, and Farnham, Farnham Road. Um, not completely sure on the right hand side. That's Otter and Key Lane and the Boot Fairfield on the left. No, there's a vineyard on the left, Boot Fairfield on the right. Oh, I forget the name of this road here and that bridge there. That's the, that's the road where the um, where B Line is based at the other end there on the when that road there meets the Ato Watling Street, London Road, whatever you care to call it. Well, there's another 375. Heading from Ramsgate and Dover Priory up to London Victoria. What have we got there? Oh, I'm running two minutes early at the moment for sitting board, so I'm going to ease off the, going to ease off the power a little bit. Well, ease off it completely, I suppose. So I'm just rolling right now, using no power at all whatsoever. If you want to watch me as I'm playing in the future, you can do. You can do so. Um, ooh, I've got. Uh, 
This is Newington Station. Oh, just gone through Newington there. Got just over three miles to Sittingbourne. Oh, there we go, using the whistle again. Or as I like to call it, the horn. If you want to watch me as I'm playing, you can subscribe to me on Twitch. I'm brand new to using Twitch. What do I have? Uh, I've streamed on, um, on the PS4 once or twice. Only for a few minutes and I got bored. I couldn't see the game I was playing because the Twitch uh, panels were taking up too much of a screen, so I couldn't see what I was doing. But I like this. Ooh, use the horn again. Just to tell the metal thieves to get off the track. Yeah, those who like nicking the, the copper cable that supplies the power to the to the signals and the points and um, we end up having to cancel the services as a result or they get majorly disrupted which is never a good okay so sort of 48 mile an hour in an 80 limit and 70 now oh. Use the horn again. There we go. Okay. Oh, got an unclear signal here somewhere, which means we're getting a bit too close to the training front. Either that, or it means because we're coming out for sitting bun, you have the uh, the add-on, we have the branch line coming up, joining the main line from the Isle of Sheppey which you can purchase as well from Steam um, I believe a cost of 11.99 for the Sheppey branch extension it's a Sheerness some of the, some of the uh, South Eastern drivers like to call the graveyard A 30 mile an hour limit if if we go see, see it's the, it, that's the uh, slip right onto the Sheppey branch line and that'll come that'll come up from Sheppey on the other side of this bridge just around the corner here it's a driver reminder appliance the DRA because I haven't touched any controls for a while all right, he's waiting for me to come through. I need a gentleman. So use your horn, say thanks. Clear signal. I don't just realise I'm still doing about 40 mile an hour. I need to start slowing down. as we come in here still keeping an eye out for some clear signal up ahead anyway keeping an eye out for the six car stop to move is right here that's a four car stop I 
Where's the six car? Somewhere up here, it's gotta be. There it is. That'll do nicely. Look at that. Perfect positioning. There's a six car stop marker. And right there. How nice. Yes, we've actually arrived. Oop. Yes, we've actually arrived six seconds late after all that. We're already ready to start. Okay, next stop and last stop option. 32. Got 10 minutes to arrive at Faversham. Um, 7 miles. Meh. There we go. Okay. Good afternoon. This is your captain speaking. Uh, captain, driver. Oh, you can't make an announcement on there, can you? That uh, was on there. Uh, That was on a flight simulator actually, I think. If I remember rightly. Okay, full speed ahead. Give it so that way we've got a few minutes to play with. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the driver speaking. We will shortly be arriving at Faversham where this train will terminate. Please remember to take all your belongings with you and we hope you have enjoyed your journey. We hope to see you again soon. If you see any suspicious baggage that has been left behind, please inform the onboard manager as soon as possible. Remember don't touch it. Once again, Falchion will be a last.